Six European Union-funded housing projects for Bedouins in the West Bank have been reduced to rubble. Israel demolished the structures on Thursday in a move likely to deepen an ongoing rift between Israel and the EU. Atala Mazara is a representative of the Bedouin group Jabal al-Baba. The houses were funded by the European Union and they put up the European flag in order to deter the occupation. But the Israeli state is a terrorist state. It doesn't have any standards. The demolition comes amid confirmation by Israel that it has seized 154 hectares in the Jordan Valley, an area that Palestinians have sought for their own state. At the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the move routine. Uh, it's a land survey. It's one of uh, many. It's routine. And I think it's not the issue. Uh, there's been no decision on what to do with this land, but there is a, a decision that I've made to negotiate uh, peace with the Palestinian Authority if they deem to do so. Uh, I have an open call for them to restart uh, the negotiations because that's how we're going to get to Sir, peace. Netanyahu last week accused the EU of taking part in illegal construction.